Hey guys, this is David Graham. You know, I've been playing the guitar since I was three years old. I was taught by my mother, my father, and thousands of others over my many years of playing the guitar. I've played all over the eastern United States, made lots of money and friends playing the guitar. If it's your desire to learn to play the guitar the right way, then you've come to the right place. I won't try to sell you anything. I merely want to pass a gift that the good Lord has given me onto you. Just like playing anything else, if you're going to do it right, then there's some rules that apply, and here they are. Always practice good posture when playing the guitar. Sit up straight. Use the middle of your fingertips when noting a certain string on the guitar. Strum up and down in an even manner, smooth and clear. Practice for at least one hour every day or every night. Have fun. Get with other pickers and see what you can learn from them or maybe what you can show them in return. Enjoy. Okay, make sure you're ready. Make sure your axe is in tune and let's go to work with the lesson. Okay? Okay. Lesson 1. Make sure you have the proper size guitar. You know, they make anything from a quarter size all the way up to a full size dreadnought. Now, also, the best guitar is not always the newest guitar. You know, I would take a used Martin or Gibson any day over a new, brand new, cheap guitar fresh out of the box. And remember this, music stores isn't always the best place to buy a good guitar. Check around pawn shops and go to flea markets and wherever you have to, always be on the lookout for a good deal on a guitar. You'll get the best price there and you can talk these people down. Pick a guitar that is best suited for you. One that's easy to note and sounds good. You know, those are the two top things I look for in a guitar still to this day. Your index finger is your number one finger. Your middle finger is your number two finger. And your ring finger is your number three finger. And your pinky finger is your number four finger. Okay, let's get started with our first chord, shall we? E chord. Now we're going to learn E chord today. We're going to learn how to make it and then how to strum, then pick the strings. And here's how I do it. Okay, now when we show you this chord, I want you to pause the DVD and I want you to practice making this chord. And then when we come back, we're going to learn how to pick and strum in this chord. to learn our first chord. Now I'm not zooming in with my cording hand or my picking hand over here because if you look on your screen you've got the little chart there that's going to show you where these fingers are. Now before we're going to remind you this is your number one finger, your number two finger, number three finger, and number four finger and also use the middle of your fingertips when noting a guitar. Or I should, I should say noting a string. All right? Like if, if I say take your number one finger, right, right there, that one right there, I should say, and note the third string right before the first fret, well, that's where it should be. Now, let's go through the parts of a guitar real quick. The nut bridge is right here. That's your first fret, that middle thing right there. That's your second fret, your third fret, and you count them. You know, left to right. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, and so on. And this is your first string. Uh, first string is your bottom string or your E string. Second string is your B string. Third string is your G string. Your fourth string is your D string. Your fifth string is your A string. And your sixth string is another E string but it's, it's wound. Now we call them uh, E, B, G, D, A, D strings for a reason because these are the notes that they're supposed to be tuned in, like this is supposed to be tuned in E. B, G, D, A, and 
E. Aloe. Aloe. All right. So, now having said that, make sure your guitar's in tune before you get started, okay? Okay. Okay, if you watch the video, you, um, you know, sit up straight, hold the guitar up close to you, and get ready to play. Now, we're going to learn a chord today in our lesson one, E string, or I'm sorry, E chord. Hear that? It's supposed to sound like that. Every string's supposed to sound so clear. Can you hear how clear? Hear that? It, that's the way it's supposed to sound. And when you're strumming up and down, do it nice and easy. Don't get in a big rush. There's no fire. There's no shot clock on you. Now, take your number one finger and place the middle of your fingertip on the third string right before the first fret. Like that. Curl your fingers. Curl your fingers. Practice that. Take your number two finger and note the fifth string right before or right in between the first and second fret. Right there, like so. Somewhere right in there. And get your hand comfortable back there. Get your hand comfortable all over the place. And then take your number three finger right here and place it on that's third, fifth, and fourth string right there. And kind of scoot this one over to give yourself room because I don't want the third finger to go past the second fret. Perfect. Good job. Now you practice this, and um, when we come back, we're going to um, do some strumming, okay? You see that? Okay, now what I want you to do, you got this E chord down. Now, what I want you to do is we're going to work on this little hand down here, the right hand, the, the picking hand or the strumming hand. While you're making E, I want you to pick your top string and strum down. And then I want you to pick your fifth string and strum down. Then your top string and your fifth string. Now do this, top, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth, fifth, sixth, fifth, and stop. Now what you're doing, the reason I, the reason I teach like this is, let's say for example, you're the only one playing. Well, you don't have no bass player, and you know, bass sounds pretty good in music. I guess that's why they made it. But this gives you a little bass accents. Well, don't you love playing the guitar? I know you do. So you practice that now, and when we come back, we're going to learn A7. And after that, we're going to learn to change from E to A7. Be right back. You know how to do this. Pick, strum, pick, strum, and all that. We're going to learn A7. Now it's pretty easy, A7 is. I want you to take your number three finger and I want you to place the fingertip. Now remind you, curl your fingers to use the, your fingertips, not your fingers, prints, but your fingertips. And I want you to slide it right there on the second string right before the second fret. And I want you to put your number two finger on the fourth string up there. And it doesn't have to be exactly on the second fret, but somewhere close. And I want you to strum the fifth string down. And that's how it should sound. Oh, yeah. Now, while you're making that, and this finger's pointing at you. Hey, folks, how we doing? Anyway, I want you to pick your fifth string and strum. And now your sixth string and strum. Back and forth. 
practice this and every time I say practice this I mean stop the DVD pause it whatever you have to do kick it whatever unplug it and practice this and then come back and when we come back we're going to change from a seventh to E from E to a seventh and we're going to do it using those two rhythms I just showed you back to E, go to E. Why do I make a song out of everything? Anyway, go to E and I want you to pick your top string like I showed you. Strum, pick your fifth string and strum, do it again. And now I want you to go to A seventh and pick your fifth string and strum and your sixth string and strum. And then go back to E. See what I'm doing? And now I want to remind you too, with your hand down here, just relax it. You know, and use these fingers down here to kind of help you maintain stability and all that good stuff so that you won't lose control. What I want you to do is I want you to pause the tape right now and I want you to practice going from E and I want you to do this one time, two times, and then I want you to go to A seventh, one time, two times, three times, four times, and go back to E, one, two, three. practice that and I want you to do this four times in each chord one two three four one two three four now I know you're not going to be able to do it that fast starting out but that's why God made practice so you practice this and when you, when you feel like you're real comfortable with it, then we'll move on to the next lesson, okay? But have fun with this, and we'll see you next lesson, all right? God bless you, and we will see you next time.